Hello viewers. So in today's class we are going to take up a very important integral uh, where a lot of concept is involved, right? So here uh, we have to evaluate the integral of mod cos x from 0 to pi. So let us start. So suppose uh, mod of cos x is denoted by the function f of x right now uh, we know that uh, the cosine function is positive in the first quadrant and negative in the second quadrant right suppose here we have uh, the quadrants and uh, this is the first quadrant this is second this is third and this is fourth so in the first quadrant uh, cosine function is positive that is from 0 to uh, pi by 2 uh, cosine function is positive and from pi by 2 to pi the cosine function is uh, negative right okay so what we will do uh, we will uh, express this function uh, this uh, function mod of cos x uh, from 0 to pi by 2 and from pi by 2 to pi right so f of x can be expressed as uh, this mod of uh, cos x is equal to uh, cos x if x uh, belongs to the interval uh, from 0 to pi by 2 right and uh, mod of uh, cos x is equal to minus of cos x right when x uh, lies between uh, pi by 2 to pi right so we have expressed this uh, absolute value function in this form right so we have uh, here two intervals one is from 0 to pi by 2 and other is pi by 2 to pi right so in the first quadrant the cos function is uh, positive and in the second quadrant the cos function is negative now uh, let us uh, denote this integral by i right now uh, the integral uh, can be written as uh, 0 to pi by 2 and when x lies between 0 to pi by 2 then mod of uh, cosine x is equal to uh, positive cos x so here we have cos x dx right and uh, when we go from uh, pi by 2 to pi then mod of cos x is equal to uh, minus uh, cosine x clear okay so now uh, we have expressed this integral um, as a sum of two integrals right due to the additive property now the integral of cosine x is sine x and the limits are from 0 to pi by 2 and here we have uh, the integral of cos x is sin x and the limits are from pi by 2 to pi right now here uh, we can simplify this expression as sin pi by 2 minus sin 0 by substituting the limits and taking the difference and here we have sin pi minus sin pi by 2 right now the value of sine pi by 2 is 1 sine 0 is 0 and uh, the value of sine pi is 0 and the value of sine pi by 2 is 1 right so we have 1 minus minus 1 so we have 1 plus 1 that is 2 right so the value of uh, this integral uh, is 2 